Sorry about that. It's either you or someone else, like, feeling like that, okay? They're, like, getting the clarity. They're like, look, I got to walk away and focus on myself. I got to work on myself. I got to work on my finances, okay? Because maybe your uh, finances are being affected by this relationship. I'm not taking all of them. somebody um may want to propose and you're having cold feet like you are or the person who you're dealing with okay huh. and i definitely do feel like you have a lot of regret maybe this person is does or whoever you're dealing with maybe you have a lot of regret when it comes to the relationship or you're thinking about your past relationships and again like i had said like it could be like childhood um fears or things like that that happen in your childhood that have you um that's uh, affecting your relationship because it's like you want to take this leap you want to take this new beginning but you're you know you you in your head about it you can't even sleep you feel like you're not getting your wish fulfillment like i had said you are not like satisfied about something okay and i also i don't know why i feel like you've been in this relationship uh, the wedding date is getting closer and closer, like the next six, five, four months, weeks. And you are like, look, I don't know if I really want to be married to this person. And I feel like every day you wake up and find something about this person. Every day. One minute you in, one minute you out. Yeah. Again, yeah. A lot of imbalance when it comes to your childhood. Okay, and I had said that. I said that. Okay, and I definitely do feel like you're holding on to it, but I feel like, you know, this is something that's starting to come to the forefront. Like, it's like I thought I was over this or I thought I was over that, but I was asleep and that shit woke me up out of my sleep. Like, what happened in 1919, you, this shit walked you up out of your sleep. You like, well, I thought I moved past it. I thought I was healed. And this is why I feel like this is going to, uh, this is what happened to you to start looking at your relationship different. Because I definitely do feel like you're, uh, you feel like you're, you know, taking some type of risk here, you know, by giving up your independence. Yes. I t look, in your head, both of y'all are. And I feel like this person is definitely, uh, energetically is feeling this. And now both y'all in y'all head. You can't sleep, they can't sleep. Everybody's stressed out. They worry. Okay? Now, I definitely do feel like there's, you know, some hot. Oh, my God. So, you gonna. Oh, my God. I knew it. So, you gonna call off the wedding, Gemini. You gonna call off this relationship. That you have put a lot of, oh my God, yep. You are this person, they're going to call it off. Damn. Yep, missed opportunity, boredom, okay. There's a disconnect here. I'm trying to tell you. Even when this person try to come in and bring you flowers, you like, look, I don't want this shit. Why? What's the problem? Oh my God, Gemini. <gasps> Oh, we Gemini. Give me the five of pentacles. Oh, now whoever messed with this person. Okay. Introvert, self confidence selfish, jealousy, insecurity. Okay. A lot of insecure here. Insecurity. I don't know if you feel like you lack something, maybe in the bedroom or maybe with the parents. I definitely feel like you don't want to put this emotion in, emotions in into this relationship anymore or whoever you're dealing with don't want to do that anymore give me the nine of cups in reverse yeah somebody is nervous like i could feel your energy i'm telling you I'm telling you, you feel like you're, you know, not getting your wish fulfillment, but you're trying to have some type of hope here, inspiration, like you're trying to find it. 
But you like, I done seen people marry and I done seen people be with. Oh my God. And maybe you know that this person is a liar and very devious. Maybe you know this. Yeah, there's a disconnect, a lot of disharmony here. Somebody is very selfish, very ruthless, very materialistic, could be even bisexual. Yeah, you don't feel like there's no growth here in this relationship. Damn, Gemini, or the person who you dealing with, cross watcher. Give me some additional messages for Gemini and Venus, Venus and Gemini, whichever one. Damn. Damn. Because I definitely do feel like once upon a time you was into this relationship. You wanted it. You know, it was all good. Everything was going just well. But something crept up, okay? Some old feelings that you thought were buried, that you had got over. All of that come right back up. Coming right back up. And you like, listen, I don't even think I want to be in. One person is like, yes, let's get married. I'm ready. Or one minute you was like, yes, um, I want to get married. Let's do this. And then the next minute you like, um, like, I don't know if somebody betrayed you in some type of way. Hmm. But now both of y'all in y'all head. Y'all need to talk. I, I just feel like you could just postpone this wedding. I'm hearing like, girl, we already done set the venue. Like, already people that RSVP. Like, we were going to have a destination wedding probably. Uh, there's a lot of distance between us. Like... What else for uh Gemini and Venus? Venus and Gemini was it however you say I told you this night can't play with me. I told you we done down, we found our uh, destination, a place. We already done did this. We done found everything, everything paid. I really don't care too much for the uh place where we going, but it was more of their ideal, so we did what they wanted to do, male or female. Like, I don't care. Somebody definitely want to have that freedom here. I don't know if somebody having cold feet, feeling like they're going to be stuck. Okay, somebody very much. <laughs> somebody got a lot of control issues, baby. You got to let it go. Release that. Somebody could be very kinky in the bed bedroom. Maybe this person did something in the bedroom. You were like, hold up now. Uh-uh. I've been thinking about that ever since that night. Okay. I definitely do feel like a lot of your friends are definitely going to try to come in and help you, all right, get over this, okay? I definitely do feel like you are shining. You're going to get a lot of attention. Like I had said, I definitely do feel like your friends are going to come in to help you, but there's a lot of obstacles here, okay? Are you causing these obstacles, Gemini, or the person that's dealing with a Gemini? Because somebody is definitely getting cold feet. And this might be true love, okay? I, I really do feel like you need to think about uh, why you fell in love with this person. Because I definitely do feel like this person could, um, at one point in time, you thought about this person could be a great father. And it's something you've seen in this person or something you realize that you're like, you know what? I don't think I want to be with this person no more. Something they said they did, I, I'm not sure, okay? Something they said, something they did, Gemini. Damn. Ex return. Mm -mm. Maybe somebody ex did return and they like, look, I thought this way I wanted to be. I don't know. Gemini and Venus. Venus and Gemini. Whichever one. I just heard stop. Look, family trauma. I told you, I definitely do feel like somebody got some family issues here. And this is what's um, messing up your relationship. I feel like you're about to self-sabotage. But I feel like, too, you're coming to an awakening. Especially with all them kings that was in reverse. Maybe you are realizing something, okay, about your partner. Male or female. Alright, Spirit. What well, additional messages for Gemini and Venus? Venus and Gemini, whichever one, okay? What additional messages?
So the good news is, I definitely do feel like you know somebody. Uh, if you're thinking they're cheating on you, maybe they're not cheating on you. Okay, I don't know why I definitely do feel like you guys um do a lot of traveling. Y'all hang out together. This is almost like your best friend. I definitely do feel like you're worried about the future. I don't know. I, I feel like somebody had like a glimpse of premonition or something while they would sleep about how their marriage could be. All right. I definitely do feel like this person definitely does um have an affair. But I'm going to tell you what I can see. Even though this person may cheat, I got to be honest. Whoever this person is, they may cheat. They may. But I definitely do. They I feel like they do. They part by um, trying to cover it up. And no matter if they with this other person, I definitely feel like if you call, they'll come. Like, they're not just going to keep ignoring your phone to call. They don't give a damn. They in the bed with somebody, they're going to answer, okay? Again, like I had said, I definitely do feel like somebody have a lot of uh family trauma. And I definitely feel like somebody paranoid again, okay? I also feel like, you know, somebody seen something now. They like, listen, I don't think I want um, this relationship no more. Or I don't think I want to get married so soon. Or I don't, you know, I don't know. All right, somebody could be asking to take a break, okay? I really do feel like somebody found out something. They seen something, had a dream or some. I'm telling you, whatever it is, it, it, it really shook, shook this person up. Gemini and Venus. Venus and Gemini love. Spirit, what message? Additional messages. I just heard it stop. Give me one more. Whew. Fear of failure. Okay. Somebody definitely could have some options. Okay. Maybe you found this out and this person is denying it. Maybe you don't have like proof. Like maybe you had a dream and your dream was the truth. And you can feel it. Because I definitely do feel like you feel this. I feel your energy. I can feel that you like, look, I I have a fear. I have found out something. I don't want to be like X, Y, and M in the marriage. I don't want to, you know, go through this, that, and then get a divorce. I really do feel like that, okay? Again, somebody could definitely uh, have a, um, a lot of amazing sex, okay? But this is a short-term uh, connection, okay? Give me one more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, day fling play just for fun, okay? I don't know why I definitely do feel like you have a lot of um, fun with this person. Be spontaneous. I really do feel like y'all have a lot of fun. You hang out with this person. Y'all go to the gym together. Like, y'all do a lot together. But something is changing here. Something is changing. Bad timing in reverse. Uh, Honest conversation. Didn't I just say y'all need to have an honest conversation? Okay. Somebody definitely need to have a conversation about the future. Okay. Okay. Have this conversation about how you have a fear of failing. You know? Tell this person. All right, Gemini Venus. What else? What else, spirit? Can you give this person some advice, spirit, on how they feeling? My spirit guy said, but you know they got free will, so like maybe this person gave you something and then tried to blame it on like they were sitting on the damn uh, beach, a, a bench without all, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I really do feel like, you know, it's something, it's something and I feel it down in my gut. Like it's just something you like, look, I just don't like, listen. Even though this your friend, even though this your best friend, even though y'all get along, even though y'all do a lot of stuff together, I just feel like, you know, it's getting close and close, and this person is like, ah, listen, somebody else, get somebody else to do it, let me think about it. And they like, look, girl, we done damn paid money for this, that, 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 what the hell? 
Okay, okay. This per this person believes in dark magic, magic, and grew up in the occultist family. So I definitely do feel like this is something you probably could have found out. Maybe this is something that is on, um, like you know how your spider senses is telling you something. Maybe this is what they're trying to tell you. Okay, narcissist, I would call attention, affection, and support to destroy your self-esteem. Okay, maybe this person is doing this to you, and that's how you starting to feel. Like, hold on. At first, everything was all good. Okay, at first, blessing, babe, I just want you to know how amazing you are, how happy I am to be in a relationship where there's give and take, why it took so long to find you. So, I definitely do feel like it, in the beginning, it was all good. Now y'all getting closer to this wedding or getting close to so whatever this is. And this person is starting to show their two true colors. Maybe. Because I really do feel like you got love for this person. I feel like this person got love for you. But it's just something you just do not look good man or woman. Who is stable. So don't fuck it up. Hmm. You hear what spirit telling you? Suspicion. He or she has two phones for a reason. They erase message before they come home. All right, you heard what they said, and I feel like this is you. And I don't know why I feel like this is your intuition. Male or female is telling you, and you just can't really put your own um, finger on it. Okay, you can't just really put your own um, finger on it. Pray the universe has your back, okay? So whatever decision you make, I definitely do feel like the universe um, does have your back. But I also feel like whatever warnings or whatever this is they're giving you, I definitely feel like you need to listen because they got your back. Spiritual connection, God is going to give you more than you ask for, believe it, and receive it, okay? So, you know, I definitely do feel like the messages are definitely coming through. They are trying to warn you or tell you about something, okay? You know, I really do feel like they are. I also feel like somebody could be, maybe you're coming out of a love spell or something. Because I, I definitely do feel like somebody could be definitely, you know, messing with a little hoo-hoo, okay? And y'all be thinking, I'm talking to the women. Y'all be thinking these men don't be doing it. They do. And all to the fellas, y'all already know. That's why I be telling y'all, don't be in at everybody's house. And don't be putting your mouth on everybody. Because everybody, you can't just put your mouth on if you get where I'm going. All right? All right, so there you have it. Again, you already know that I'm always taking personal readings. All readings are confidential. Okay? I'm always giving you guys my best. Okay? If you want the tea, come book with me. I really do feel like Gemini, Pisces, y'all need to book me. Because I need to tell y'all something. Okay? All right, Gemini's and Pisces and Venus. All right. Okay, there you have it. You guys have a great day today. It's Friday. You guys be vigilant. Again, like I told y'all, a lot of bullies are resurfacing. All right. There you go.